The 15% corporate tax rate is not going to be the main reason for inflation. Never has been. If corporations raise their prices, that means they make more money, which will cause them to pay more in taxes. 15% of 1 billion is less than 15% of 1.5 billion. Inflation we have today is not based on supply and demand. Just go to your local grocery store, Walmart, Costco. We have far more things than we use. We throw away billions of dollars of food. We burn clothes that we don't need. Well, fashion companies do. And auto retailers, they destroy brand new cars because they can't sell them. They won't give them away for free because that would lower the price of their or the value of their car. So they actually destroy brand new cars. Yes, we ran out of toilet paper, we ran out of baby food, but we still have way more than we need. Go look at the store shelves. It's not supply and demand, it's greed. Corporations are just hosing you for money because their numbers always have to go up. They can't make one billion one year, one year in profit and make less than that in next year. The number always has to go up, so how do they make their money? They increase prices, they don't pay their employees any money, well, next, next to nothing. And that's where actual inflation comes from. It's corporate greed. They're hosing you at the gas pump, at the supermarket, anywhere. It's not the actual inflation. It's corporate greed. Trudeau or Joe Biden are not responsible for the gas prices. It's the gas companies who are making record profits. Before the pandemic in 2019, well, compared to that, corporations have made $200 billion more in profits. If it was inflation, it, the number would be the same as 2019. But no, it's $200 billion more in profits. That's all U.S. corporations put together. You should have voted for Bernie Sanders for president.